Good morning. It's a run Disney morning. It's 3 01 a.m. I'm gonna head out the door and wait for the bus. It's actually time. Oh, Sarah, I'm so sorry. And vlog, I'm so sorry for ruining the intro, but I cannot get four minutes for a time lapse. This is too exciting to be finally back at a run Disney event. Bus just dropped us off at the Epcot parking lot. We're walking over to the grounds. Yeah, I mean, you've never seen us come from this side. Usually we park over there. This is gonna be good. All right, so I'm pretty excited to see how things are different because I know charity groups don't have tables and a few other things. I highly doubt they're gonna have characters like they typically do. Um, actually, James was having such a good night's sleep that we decided not to disturb him tonight. I know as long as James is, is feeling up for it that Sarah's gonna prioritize being here tomorrow and Sunday, but they're not joining me today for the 5K. So kind of different to uh, not have my support crew physically here with me for a Run Disney event. Um, but they are where they're supposed to be and I, I couldn't be more happy. And it's almost surreal to think the last in-person Run Disney event, we had just found out that James was in Sarah's stomach. And now here we are at the next Run Disney event in person. A very long time later, with Sarah sleeping, Welcome, with James Hi, taking care of him in our resort. Do you hear that? So I don't know if we ever let you know, but the Earhart's were big fans of the minivans, and we're all welcoming, waiting for the day that that gets welcomed back, if ever. Um, they're using them as barricades, which is kind of interesting. I think it'll be a little bit of a tease, but also excitement for Carolyn tomorrow morning when she arrives and sees the fleet of minivans as walls. This is a different area. Um, they brought us all around near the finish line to come in. Now this looks like freaking Ron Disney. See the Joffrey's bus over there. They got food looking like right here. And already start corral, start group mobs because they're doing three start waves. I don't, I'm not sure how they, I'm assuming it's gonna be a big wave and mini waves in between. Um, but there's already a group over there waiting. I'm just gonna soak this in and try to get as many high fives as I can today. Oh, it feels great to hear the DJ back. And it's what I suspected. There's no characters, but there's photo ops. I'll show you real quick. There's one. Look at that. Ooh, it's scary. Well, if it came to run a wickedly delicious wine and dine, you're probably a little rotten in the court. All right, there we go. See, there's the group. It's 3.40 in the morning. Race starts at five, but here's the star group. Well, they haven't opened it up to the corrals, so they should be doing it in the next five minutes, I think. If I'm being honest, it's I, I, it's hard because Run Disney is trying to do this safe, inappropriate. Um, so I'm glad the uh, I'm glad Run Disney's back. I'm glad it's important. Look at this hair. We have a sleep. Um, I'm so glad it's back. It's strange though. Charity groups didn't have spots here at the finish line or start line for the 5K. Um, there's not characters, they're just doing two backdrops, which is it's just awesome and better than nothing. It goes back to like, I'd rather have it this way than not have it at all. Um, but I do, I'm not as bummed about the characters as I am about Charity Group because that was always one of my favorite places. And I know they're gonna come back, it's just, the, I think they were just kind of testing the waters. I bet they're gonna be back for, for Marathon Weekend. Um, but there's not much to do this morning. So it's almost like it kind of worked out that Sarah and James slept in and, and James is going to be hopefully feeling 110% later um, today. And we can kind of game plan the next two days to see if they're going to come with me extra early to the start line or if they're going to like come an hour after I, I leave. Just because I like to be in a corral obnoxiously early, unnecessarily early. Um, but yeah, I don't, I'm just going to wait for the corrals up there's not much else besides dance with the DJ. Something I didn't plan for was rain for the next hour and a half. Because that's what's going to happen. Here we go, the corrals have opened. Here we go, the moving stock corral one. At 4.24, I'm wondering if they're going to change the timing because it's supposed to rain through all the races this morning. Galloway just made it. Woo! Hey, how many of you are doing the 
course challenge. Woo! Outstanding. Any perfect wine and diners? What's wrong with you? Are you ready to send people off on a Run Disney race for the first time in far too many months? Woo! Here we go. We're back. We're running. We're at Disney. Sun's not up. Lights are shining. This feels good. Woo! Oh, look at that. Bar just lit up. Client turns lit. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. James, this is a reverse waterfall appreciation shot for you. I love you, baby. I hope you're still sleeping nice and sweet and soundly. I'm bringing the metal home to you. Mile three. This is one of the best turns in all of Run Disney. You know what? Camera's going down. I'm just gonna soak this up. A Run Disney medal in person, not virtual. Look at the beauty. Look at it. That was a fun race. Ah, I feel so good to be back. All right, it, as you can see, this actually isn't sweat. It's a good amount of sweat, but it's mostly rain. It is still raining. I think it's supposed to rain all day. But I gotta look, I think it ends before tomorrow. I don't know, I don't even care. As long as there's no lightning. I think I'm gonna go meet up with Jenna from ACS and cheer on some runners since it's 5.30 and I think my family's still asleep. So I'm gonna go scream at some runners until the sun comes up. Many hours later, I actually took a little bit of a nap. James got a bath. Hi! Sarah got ready and unpacked for us. I washed hat, I washed bottles. Well, you were the champ of the morning. You were the champ of the morning. And Where's your medal? it's raining and it's gonna rain all the days, all today. But we need food and we bought uh, We bought rice. We bought rice and the community. Well, Sarah can't go on rice, but <laughs> me and the Earhearts bought rice and then we all got um, Mickey Mouse. Um, I just might be an uncultured swine, but what is Coronado themed off of? Because this is beautiful. Wow. Even in the rain, the rain made it like chilly and I'm kind of nervous I should have brought a jacket or something. We also don't know where we're going. All right, here we are. What we thought was the pepper market has been renamed to El Mercado de Coronado. Gonna grab some breakfast. We walk in and I'm literally starving and Sarah goes, I'm not hungry. I just ate Peter's nachos from his race box. It's like they're not my nachos. They're never my nachos. They're always your nachos. That's true. This is the first time we're seeing the 50th reusable mugs. Look at those little lids. Those are nice because, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, we spilled ours a ton. And another one with Mickey's Ditch. Ooh, this is like the um, Magic Kingdom Resort. This baby is loving the rain. <laughs> He's like kicking and excited. We're excited. Christmas. To see this garland. Are you Studios. serious? Mickey Minis. The best park at and Disney Rise World. This is the best park at Christmas time, hands down. There, there are fewer things that make me happier than these stars on Sunset Boulevard. Let's take a ride.
Alright, we got 20 minutes until our rise, so I think we're gonna try to go to baseline. Baseline? Cheers. Run to the side, Cheers. Theater, we didn't cheers. Um, they don't have the black cherry pop here anymore, but this is a strawberry hibiscus pop, and it's very good. <laughs> Look at those curly cues. <laughs> so, we got our second lightning lane of the day. I'm not going on because I can't. It's Rise of the Resistance. We did not buy Genie Plus today, we just bought the two. Lightning a la carte lanes. lightning lanes that cost an additional amount here. And it's been good. Considering the rain. Yeah. And the crowd. It stopped raining. For now. It's supposed to kick up again. Yeah. But like we've had a very enjoyable day for the cost of the lightning lanes. Absolutely. And I'm going to try to put Jamesy down for a nap while they're on the ride. Stroll around. We might do a lunch. We have to see. Yeah. Um, so that's where so we're it'll at. be an early day. All right. We're off to Rise of Resistance. Which is awesome because I got evacuated last time and I gave the last like two or three before that to friends who were vacationing. This is all heart to heart, right. is what we call it, of the resistance. <laughs> Update to the vlog, uh, Rise of Resistance is down so now we have an unlimited fast pass for any time today once if the attraction comes back up and there's ready to say fight the, with the resistance. We're seeing some of the gold statues. We have Flounder and Sebastian over here by the Brown Derby. And this is the statue I've been most excited to see and it's Joe Gardner because they did the piano. So cool. Look at that. I think this is my favorite one. He looks like he's in the zone. Jamesy is out. Look at those rolled back eyeballs. Nice. And we're gonna try to go into the Tune and Lounge. And See what they got. What a little nice surprise on this TV while well, dedication to Disneyland. So we came, what is this bar called? We're in the Tune In Lounge. Ben got a very lightly colored Long Island. You got a. I got a shimmer over the moon. Maui Wowie. So I got a cup of water and James is waking up. Jamesy, there you crazy. We call this vlog what do we do before we inevitably end up at Epcot? <laughs> What am I saying? This <laughs> vlog, this vlog is... James, James, you say it. <laughs> the title of this vlog is... <laughs> <laughs> what is it? This what, what, what did we do, do before we inevitably, inevitably end up at Epcot? Oh. I said it so easily earlier. <laughs> you did. It's, it's the it rolled off pressure. your tongue. So our day's kind of gone a little weird, but you know, it's also gone the perfectly Earhart Brookhart way, and we're ending up to get more food at La Cellier. What was it, 20 minute wait for a walk up? Beautiful. All right, we did a walk up La Cellier. Last time we were here, we were plant based, so I'm pretty pumped to eat some meat. <laughs> Cheese soup last this is James' first Le Cellier. He ordered a filet for himself. Sure did. In reality, we got him five cheese mac and cheese because I want some. Sarah got poutine. Yeah. Carolyn got. Poutine. Ben got. Ribeye. I got filet. Here's the fancy warm bread. Here's the fancy salted cheese. Here's the butter. fancy salted <laughs> butter. Cheese. And me and Kellen both got auto. Ottawa apples. Here is my beloved beer cheese. Yes. We got the maple Brussels sprouts and mussels. Okay, I got poutine, but it's like the beef version. 
<laughs> you just flipped up your plate and it was scalding? Yes, it's a delicious <laughs> filet <laughs> with mushroom risotto. James got five cheese, mac and cheese. It's so Ribeye. dark in here. Ribeye. Ribeye. Ribeye over here. Signature poutine. Yeah, I got that reduction for. The rain is picked back up. We are going to go back to the hotel. We're going to stop in the formerly known as Mouse Gear's creation shop. Yes. Um, Just to check some. It's basically been off. raining since this morning. Yeah, we had a since little like break. Yeah. So hopefully our stroller, we might have to break off like the blow dryer or something. But we're, everything's moist. James is out of outfits. We're about, we're going home. Like, we need to go to bed at like 6 or 7 tonight. Yeah, we're going to be very, go we're going to be very responsible. We're back in our cozy room, thank goodness. And we, wow, we are watching the 50th anniversary special. It's on, like, on demand on this TV. So it's 8 o'clock, just about 8 o'clock. Our wake-up calls are set, our clothes and bags are set, game plan is for all of us to go tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Air hearts are set, yes. wake-up calls set. Yeah, we're going to do this. I'm excited now because I didn't get to go today. And I love it just as much. Yeah, I just don't <laughs> Here comes the 10K tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. It's, it's good, good to be home. home. Say goodnight. <laughs> we know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>